All right, we got a slingback story for you here. This was specifically asked to be read on Thought Thursday. First of all, a thousand thank yous for your service, both of you. For the record, I did not serve, but the popster here served long enough for like 10 dudes. Uh, two, actually. Yeah. Well, if you're just doing like your four years, quite a few more than that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've kept more men from swallowing the, the uh, nine... A 9 by 19 millimeter parabellum pill than any suicide hotline I know of. Your brand of humor and truth goes together like whiskey and a good cigar. Nice. I have a strange slingback story, but the broad question, but the broad in question wasn't even my girlfriend. She was my brother's girlfriend. Uh, it's worse. Back in the 90s when I was 9 years old and my older brother was 15, he had a girlfriend. We'll call her Bipsy. Uh, to use one of Cappy's names for clueless broads. I was a kid back then and my life's goal was to beat Shining Force on Sega Genesis. One of my favorites. That's a worthy goal. And get an A-plus on my math exam so I could get 50 bucks from my grandpa. Yeah. Girls weren't even a thought in my mind. So this is uh, Space Ghost. This is before Space Ghost, yeah. My brother and his girlfriend had a fight over the summer and broke up, and he was devastated. But she bounced right on to the next available Peg D. They remained friends for the remainder of high school and finally parted ways when my brother shipped out for the Air Force after turning 18. Not that we'll hold that against him. What, the chair force? Yeah. Well, I yeah. know. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Go to Pottery Barn and buy some sheep. You can't even get into the Air Force if you're prior service. No? No, I had a lot of guys get turned away because you can't... Listen, you can't punish a grunt. <laughs> you show up the Air Force, we're going to confine you to your room. Really? Really? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, that. I could play Xbox? Okay. Winning. <laughs> Hercules. You can't punish us. <laughs> You're used to real punishment. Yeah. Uh, years later, when I was 29, my brother was 35. I went with him to his high school reunion, and Bipsy was there. She was at least 100 pounds heavier. And with a look that said, my diet consisted of bazooka juice and antibiotics for the last 15 years. God damn it, Sammy. Well, that's one way to wash down the... <laughs> wow! Wash down the penicillin. Wow! Penicillin. Ugh. She talked to my brother, and I was there just sipping punch and listening. And I didn't notice it at the time, but she kept eyeing us like a hungry lioness would eye a stray zebra. Two nights later, I received a text at 2 a.m. Wakes me up, and I check the message. Nothing good happens after 2 a.m. for the record. No, no. It read, yo, what's up? I assumed it was a wrong number and erased it, lying down once more. 30 seconds later, a second message arrives, and it reads, it's me, Bipsy, your, girlfriend, your brother's old girlfriend. Uh-huh. Puzzled and sleep woozy, I turned off my phone and thought nothing of it until the next morning. When I turned on my phone again, no less than 12 messages poured into my inbox. Mm-hmm. Turns out she had seen me at the high school reunion and somehow gotten my number. To this day, I still have no idea how girls will work up the magic to get a guy's number seemingly by willpower. No, no, no. Listen, if there's a will, there's a way, man. Yeah. She thought I was handsome, handsomer than my brother had ever been, and wanted to get to know me. Uh-huh. I was grossed out. She was my brother's ex-girlfriend, and she looked like the trash muppet from Fraggle Rock. (laughs) (laughs) Who knows how many Eskimo brothers I'd have, my own brother included, if I decided to toss my hot dog down that hallway. Not wanting to be rude, but not wanting to give her any hope, all I answered was, no thank you. Hmm. The deluge of messages that followed blew me away. Spiteful messages about how... All right, you want to you want to venture a guess here? Uh-huh. Small g- g- penis. Give me... You're gay. You hate your mother. Yeah, I mean it just see. goes on and on. Who hurt you? I must be gay. Uh-huh. How she had a rough life and just wants a little happiness. Being betrayed. Yada yada. Uh-huh. So yeah, yeah. Must be gay, of course. I'm sure you've heard it all. Yep. And the next day more messages apologizing and begging <laughs> to give her a chance, no, etc. No. That day I learned a valuable lesson. Women do not take rejection well at all. Now, what have we said on this show? Rejection forges men and destroys women. Yes, it does. I didn't answer a single one of those texts, and in the end, she gave up. Some unconscious red pill knowledge in my brain told me that the silence would get the point across better than if I answered any of her texts. Well, a week later, my brother called me and told me that his ex-girlfriend from high school called him and said she'd kill herself and was saying goodbye. Okay. He asked what I said to her, and all I answered was, I didn't say anything. I just told her, no thanks. Later that night, he came over, and I showed him the texts, all of them. Oh, my God. He was flabbergasted. 
Turned out she had tried to get back with my brother, but he was already married with three kids, so I was her last resort. Hmm. They do that a lot. Yes, they do. If a guy that they want to sling back to is spoken for, they will deliberately try to get with someone close to that guy just to make a point and see if they can make you jealous in the process. Yeah, that, that is actually pretty common. Yep. It's usually a best friend. It's happened to me. I didn't give a damn. Like his younger brother? I mean, he was six years younger? Yeah. That is odd. Usually it's like a dude's best friend or something yeah. like that. Yeah. In my case, uh, <laughs> she couldn't get with me, so she made sure that I knew she was going to get with an old co-worker who just happened to be a buddy of mine still. I still talk to him. Good luck. And what she didn't know was that in the past, I had thrown down with one of his exes. <laughs> Never told him about it because, you know, neither here nor there. It had nothing to do with him. And I knew what was waiting for her because <laughs> I, I heard stories and they weren't good. So the next day, all I get is, oh, yeah, I went all over there and it sucked and it was over way too quick. And I'm just like, <laughs> so it's a two pump chump. She's like, why are you laughing? I was like, oh, nothing. I just used to throw down with his ex. So I know exactly what you were waiting for. I just <laughs> didn't say anything because I thought it would be funnier this way. And I was right. <laughs> hey, you know what? You were the one trying to play mind games. I just let you go all the way to the finish line before you lose. Wait. Too damn funny. Uh, wow. Well, as it happens, she didn't take her own life by hanging herself. Shocker. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel the least bit of guilt because I had never even met her, never asked to be in contact with her, and the only thing I ever said when she asked if I wanted to get to know her was, no thank you. That's right. My only memories of Bipsy were her and my brother sitting down on the porch outside of our old house while I played Sega Genesis in the living room and waited <coughs> for my dad to come home from work and my mom spying on them from her bedroom window to make sure there was no funny business. No tits were getting pulled out. Yeah. I didn't know what slingbacks were until I heard you talk about them, and then I learned that it's a fairly common phenomenon with women who are in the ticket line for the express train to... Stop! Don't touch me there! This is my no-no square! Stop! Don't touch me there! This is my no-no square! Once again, thank you for all that you do, and long live the Redonkulous Regiment. Can I have a gonorrhea? Yes, you can. I yeah. hope you're just asking for the sound effect. Gonorrhea! No. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Great story, man. Thank you very much. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.